Well, our next guests say they'll steal the sweetness right out of your bowl. We welcome Meredith Moore and David Libman of the Sugar Thieves. Thanks for joining us here, Glenda. Thanks for having us. Thanks. That's well, I like that. Explain that to us. Taking the sweetness out of the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we like to say that um, that we're a blues roots founded band, but that we put a new twist, uh, you know, kind of a fresh energy in the genre that attracts folks from all demographics, all age demographics. So we end up seeing people at our shows that are, are young all the way up to, you know, 82 years old. And so everybody enjoys it. Everybody, you know, enjoys sweet stuff, so. Cool. David, uh, is there a message to the music you guys do at all? Or? Uh, just, we just have fun playing. It, it, we just, it's all about just the roots and the, just it's all about the music for us and just entertaining people really I think now, how long have you guys been together as the sugar thieves uh, three and a half years three and a half years. a little over three years now you've come a long way in a very short time at least I think so oh uh, 08 and 09 um, Arizona Blues showcase I believe it is yes and yeah, you won both correct. of them right and then you're you're in the top finalist at uh, Memphis, the International Blues Challenge. Yeah, we were in the top ten uh, last year, and this year received the People's Choice Award for our venue at the New Daisy Theater. So it was a good um, it was a good run. We were also finalists for the Kings of Beale Street competition uh, after the IBC took place. Well, you got to be proud of the accomplishments. Are you are you surprised at all? Um, it's just been really fun. Like David said, uh, we go out and we have so much fun playing together and we have so much fun, you know, entertaining and putting on a show that really reprises music from the 1920s through the 40s. Uh, but we also have an onslaught of original material, too. Um, so there's something for everybody there. Yeah, I was going to ask if you if most of the stuff you do is actually original. We do a lot of original material and then uh, and then we also reprise covers um, uh, Robert Johnson and Lead Belly and are younger people getting away from blues, or are they come? You, you trying to bring them back, in a sense? Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Uh, I, I I know when I was getting a little bit older, and I started kind of going back and seeing where all 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 of my favorite artists were influenced from, and uh, I think it's good to have everyone kind of see where all this stuff started that they're listening to now. Very good. Um, never played here at Glendale, have you? We haven't. This is our first year. What do you think of the setting? Uh, I think it, I think that this looks like a great festival and big turnout. You know, a lot of folks here. It's a beautiful day. It's a little warm, um, but uh, little. we're in the shade at the amphitheater <laughs> stage, so that's nice. What's up next for you guys uh, in the near future? Um, we are looking into touring and and you know branching into new markets and you know we, we want to have Phoenix be our home base and we want to we want to go everywhere. So we'd like to we'd like to go to Europe, travel overseas. Um, we'd love to do a USO tour. Meredith, thank you. David, thank you for joining thank us you. here. Thanks on very much. Glendale 11 and the Glendale Jazz and Blues Festival continued success. Thanks very, very much. Thank you. You're welcome.